Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, I checked out Mutant Blast. And this 2018 film was directed by Fernando Ali and stars Pedro Deas, Maria Laite, and Joao Villas, among others, of course. The story of this movie follows these two people as they have to deal with kind of like the zombie apocalypse. However, they're not really zombies, and we'll discuss that later. And I guess the government's solution to that is to drop nuclear bombs everywhere. So now there's nuclear radiation mutating everyone around them. And so what will happen exactly? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. Well, this is a trauma movie, and trauma is a company that's kind of known for making bad movies, but also some of them become like cult classics. Like I think their most famous one is Toxic Avenger. And because it is kind of like that lower quality, they just go balls to the wall with the story and just throw in so many crazy things that like I thoroughly enjoyed. Like for example, they, you know, everyone's mutating, but there's a lobster that mutates into like a human sized person. Um, and so he's got like the lobster head on and he speaks French for some reason. I don't know. It's a Portuguese movie. So uh, why is the lobster French? I don't know. It, it's hilariously bad. And then I guess there's also a mutated dolphin as well. And those two fight. And if, if you've never seen anything like that, check this out. And there are so many other things too. Like there's this one guy, you know, everyone's mutating. And so there's this one guy who mutates a, a rat onto his hand. And it's like a gross like transformation scene, but it's just like a rat puppet on his hand. And it's just so funny. So, you know, check this out. And there's lots more like the zombies aren't supposed to be like technically zombies they're supposed to like be mutated people who mutate into zombies or something and so they're not supposed to technically be zombies um but the characters or at least in in the post uh they decide never to say the word zombie or at least they say it often but then they just bleep it out all the time and so it's a very odd choice so you know check this out okay Pode finalmente dizer-me o que é que está a passar. O que é que há as zombies? Foda-se, não são zombies. In addition, this movie does have this strange quality where all of the actors play two different roles, and usually, like, they'll play like themselves, and then they'll play like the antithesis of themselves. And I thought that was so interesting. You don't realize it until the credits. Um, so I won't tell you who plays which, you know, which other characters, but it's just so interesting and just. Once you see the credits, like everything just kind of like clicks so much better after you after you watch like who plays what. And so that is just, you know, so interesting. Definitely like adds to the rewatchability to this movie. Also, this movie does do like a lot of practical effects. You know, like they have zombies like eating people and they're like pulling out the guts and that all looks really gross. So, you know, very effective and they're like pulling out intestines and that's, you know, all effective practical stuff. The costumes are also good, or at least some of them. Like the dolphin is really good, the lobster is really good. Um, other costumes, maybe not so much, but you know, the costumes that you notice are definitely, you know, really good. So all that being said, those, yeah, those are definitely pluses in my books. And lastly, if you are into cult movies like, you know, Toxic Adventure and whatnot, you'll definitely have a blast with Mutant Blast. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this movie. Well, my biggest complaint is that they do reuse jokes. Like they have that one about the zombies not really being zombies, but then they play it like four or five times throughout the whole thing. Um, and so, you know, it kind of gets a little bit old. Same with the, the guy with the rat hand. Like everyone's asking him like, how is your rat poop? Like what's going on there? And so they ask him that, you know, three or four times throughout the movie. So yeah, they do just reuse jokes. I think it could have been written a bit better or at least differently each time they, they kind of reuse the same idea. Um, and so yeah, that's going to be my biggest complaint. Also, the zombies in this movie are complete pushovers. By that, I mean, you know, you just push them over and you just like keep walking like this, fall down, and you just keep walking. There are some people who shoot them, but for the most part, like people just kind of push them over and keep on going. It's this like, how lazy can you make it? Like, check this out. <laughs> 
other than that, you know, everything about this movie is pretty bad. Um, but it's one of those, like, so bad it's good type of movies. So if you're looking for anything good, definitely stay away from this one. But, you know, that's where I get my enjoyment out of it. Oh, and fair warning, this one does have subtitles. It is a Portuguese movie with a little bit of French in, in there as well. And so if you're not really into reading subtitles, you know, this is not going to be your movie. I'm perfectly fine with it. So, you know, it is what it is. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, I think if you're a bad movie enthusiast and you're looking for something that's, you know, balls to the wall crazy, then yeah, turn this one on. As for a rating, I'm going to give it the hilariously bad score of 3. However, I am also going to give it a shadow score of 6 on like, you know, the cult movie scale. Because it is pretty good. And having said that, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with a post credit scene this time. I just wanted to do a shout out to one of our viewers who recommended this movie to me. And that was Gagnashtiak X. So big shout out to you, thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.